This is my nursing license. This is my document that would help me to work and stay in the U.S. So this means that I am a documented person. So I believe that the U.S. government always welcome and embrace all kind of immigrants and all kind of faiths that to be in the U.S. What? What about the person who doesn't have document, who doesn't have an authorized properly a paper. That's why the U.S. government has been going on with the immigration for a decade. So, according to the Federation for America for American Immigration Reform, that I will call FAIR, 1995, the director of FAIR, Steen, said that the first step to solve the immigration problem that to build the effective border to protect uh, the, the America. As a, as a saying goes, good fences make a good name. <laughs> and undocumented people cost a lot of money on taxpayer and the government. So let me tell you about your money goals. That's why the, U the U.S. government needs to enforce the law to secure the border, to, to stop the future uh, immigrants and to, to solve the problem that, that will make America have a problem. So my goal today is first to tell you that how, to, how the, the undocumented people would cost America. First, the problem is cost on school, on hospital, and many of them bring crimes and commit crime and illegal drugs. And the second one is causes. So because of the, the company and, and the employer like to hire them for the cheaper wages, and then there are so many jobs available here in the US. And finally, I will tell you about the solution, the, the pragmatic solution. First, they have to secure the border. How to do that? Build the wall and increase the border patrol agent, and then cooperate with the local organization called Minutemen. And the second one for the solution is stop the future undocumented people by penalize the business that hire undocumented people and then using the e-verify program to check their status. And finally, that have to come up with some policy that grant some paper for the person who are already in the US. Now, to begin with, let me take you follow your money, follow the money that's come out of your pocket. Right, and the first thing is the burden on the government and the taxpayer. So, where is your money are going to be? According to the, the recent articles, whose children are these? In 2009, Carabelli reported that the children of the undocumented people cost a lot of money, especially in California. The state spent $3 billion on 300,000 and then 400,000 children in school. And also Minnesota spent 79 to $118 million on 9,000 9, people, I mean students. And also New Mexico spent $67 million on 9,000 students in school as well. So what about the hospital? According to uh, the Time Magazine 2004, Ballot and team state that the Copper Queen Hospital in San Diego, they usually have 250 emergency visit room per month. And now, now it's mean 2004, they have 500 visits per month, which is a huge of money that the, the, the hospital have to spend on the, the, the money from, from your tax and from your money, from your pocket. So also the National Review 2003, Miller State, in that article said that the hospital lost, lost a lot of money, $2,000 million that the, the hospital could not reimburse from the treatment. So what about the, the crimes? Many of them, a commit crime because according to the ballot 2004, the same article every time magazine said that 
80,000 of 400,000 have the criminal records. So, and also, in the U.S. New Digital Weekly, 2009, Kingsbury said that drugs have a lot of problems that the government should deal with them. And also, now I, I told you about the problem. What, what caused what cost the problem? What made them come to the U.S.? So, of course, there are a lot of resources in the U.S., job available there. So, according to uh, News Weekly, uh, staff and team said that the business and the employer would like to hire undocumented people because they have to pay a little money. And then also, there are so many jobs available. According to Fed 1955, King, the Homeland Security and Committee said that factory and company just pay a little, a little bit of money because instead of paying a 50 bucks for cutting the tree, so 20 bucks, so they prefer that one. On top of that, according to the, the 14th Amendment, 1868, so the children who were born in the U.S. become a U.S. citizen automatically. What does it mean? This means that they gain a benefit like a U.S. citizen. So think about that. Think about the money that that's come out of your pocket. Also, finally, what about the solution that we have to deal with this? That I, I said that first, the government to secure the border. How? How do they do that? So, it means that they have to continue building the fence and building the wall. According to the, the USAS.org, uh, said that 14 miles along the border between uh, Tijuana and uh, San Diego, it's worked well because they have two, two double uh, fences. So that's why the UK government should continue uh, building up. However, Howell State in the USA Today magazine said that, well, building the fence is bad image, and then we have to open the border because it's good for economy, it's good for the, our nation uh, strength. Also, the government should increase the border patrol because along the border is along the line, so they don't have any any enough the border patrol to, to protect that. According to the U.S. Uh, Department of Homeland Security, Jeffrey said that 2,000 miles of border are under construction, are under effective. That's why 5,000 national train guard should be delivery or should be sent there to protect the border. However, the U.S. government and economy in the recession time right now. So the US government should cooperate with the local organization to call Minutemen. According to a Time Magazine 2005, Minute said that a new program called Minutemen will be will be pressed a, a hundreds of volunteer at the at the border so that they can report to the border patrol agent when they see something suspicious. So and the second solution is stop future undocumented people to come here. So this means that the government should be penalized the company that hire the, the illegal uh, people. According to uh, Anthropological Quarterly 2008, Winston said that if the company found that they are hiring undocumented people, they will lose 10 days. Uh, license. So, and then in the meantime, they have to file a fee and then on the probation period for three years. Finally, if they file that, they hire again and then they will lose their license permanently. So, however, uh, Guterres said in the US New Digital Weekly 2010 said that, well, because the people just come from the third world country, like, like me, are willing to do the the, the bottom of the pay scale job so that in the farm in the in the rural area so they are they are happy to do so and now and next that the UK, the US government should fully in, implement a program called e verify that's that's mean that both company and both government would be able to connect with one another 
so that they can check their status. So I am in school with the F1 visa, so I have to pay a $200 to check with my status with the immigration. Otherwise, the, the, the school will report the immigration and then I will report home. Mm -hmm. And then, so uh, finally, what about what, what about the people uh, who come here already, who came here before, but they have a children? What should we do? Send them home? It's not an impossible thing because I have I I am a human being. I have parents, so I understand them that they come here. So the government should come up with any policy that deal with the people who are already here, according to Fair in. 1995, in 1986, President Ronald Reagan signed the bill called the Immigration Reform and Control Act that they granted an amnesty to 2.6 million people who are already here in the U.S. So it means that something had, had to be done with the people who are here. And also another program called Guest Worker Program, just like my nursing license, so I'm going to be a guest worker program. This means that renew every three years is good to check my status. Understandably, granting the amnesty alone doesn't help, doesn't solve the problem. But what should we do? We have to come up with a policy that to deal with the segment by segment. Having said that, that I share you some uh, problem and burden so and then, let me reveal that the, the information that I just have shared you today. I talk about the problem, problem that costs a lot of money in school, hospital, and then they commit crimes and then illegal drugs, and also causes that they come here. Of course, there are many jobs available, and then people would like to hire with a little of money, and also. The, the solution of this, so secure the border first and by uh, building the wall, by increasing the border patrol, by cooperating with the local organization called Minutemen, and stop the future undocumented people to come here, penalize the concentrated <coughs> higher undocumented people, and then using the E-Verify program to check the status so that is easy and safe to report their status. And also, having said that, we cannot report the people come back, so the, the government should come up with any kind of policies. That means that an amnesty granted and then guest worker program. So I understand the people who come here, that they have a better life. They would like to have a better life. So, however, America cannot afford to have all of them here. So that it means that you cannot afford that to have increased your tax. So both political party and you, either Democrat or Republican, have to be willing to be compromised or the immigration problem would never be resolved. 